well. In, in a relationship, there are two lovers. Okay. And if I love somebody, I'm the lover, and the one I love is the beloved. But the beloved is loving me, so the beloved is the lover, and I'm the beloved. So in our spiritual language, when the word we use mantra, we say Baba. Now Baba is not anybody's name. It's like darling or sweetheart or honey. It's, it's a relationship. The word represents. So Baba means that my love, my beloved, is my nearest and my dearest. So when I do meditation, I am meditating on the nucleus of the universe as a presence, as a person. That nucleus is my beloved. And that nucleus is also meditating on me. And I am the, I am the beloved of the, of the universe. So the divine nucleus is my beloved and I am the beloved. So I am the Baba of the, uni of the universal spirituality and the universal spirituality is my Baba. So we are both Babas. I am, and we are meditating on each other. And this meditating on each other brings us closer together, like this any relationship. And eventually, right. And eventually, wow. the union between the two lovers is yoga. Wow. So that is why if you read the different mystics, they usually use this kind of romantic language uh -huh. to talk about the mystical experience. Because mystical experience, mysticism is the union between the finite and the infinite that effort to bring the finite and infinite together. That's that intimacy. <clears throat> so basically we can say there are two kinds of meditation then. There's the meditation where I go within and I come in contact with my beloved as one, within. I open my eyes and I look around at the varieties in the universe and I see that in the varieties of the universe my beloved is in, within each and every variety. And